Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Today I'm working with a new material on my Soval SV01 3D printer and I thought I would share with you my experience that I've had with it. Today I'm working with this iSandmate Glow in the Dark PLA Plus filament. And I, this is my first time working with PLA Plus and it's been a pretty positive experience. It prints almost exactly like PLA. I did bump up the temperature by about 15 degrees more than what I usually print PLA at, so I'm running it at about 215. And it prints just fine. It sticks to the bed just fine. Everything has been great. The reason I was intrigued by this particular filament is obviously because it glows in the dark, and we will be taking a look at that shortly. But let me talk about the filament first, and then we will get to what I printed with it. So since this is PLA+, Plus, the filament appears to be a lot stiffer and maybe a little bit more rigid than normal PLA, or, or at least the PLA that I'm used to. Um, so I noticed that right out of the box. And to be honest with you, when I first bought this, I didn't realize it was PLA+. Plus. I thought it was normal PLA. But I knew there was something different about it as soon as I tried to load it into my extruder because there is a noticeable difference in the stiffness of the product. It feels like it might be just a little bit stronger, a little bit more resistant to breakage than normal PLA. So let's take a look and see what I printed with this. This being the holiday season, I decided to print a couple of different Oogie Boogie characters from The Nightmare Before Christmas. I thought that the glow-in-the-dark nature of the filament was perfect for this type of a figurine. And I also printed my Benchy, which I do with every new filament that I try out, just to make sure that it prints as expected and that the settings that I have for it um, are good. So. What I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and turn out the lights and we're going to take a look at these. And then I'm going to take a look at these with a black light on them. And you will kind of see the difference between what the natural glow is and what I would call maybe the enhanced glow with a black light. So first, let's take a look at the normal glow that these give off with the lights off. Okay, so here's what the models look like, just with uh, having been charged by the normal studio lights and overhead lighting that I have in my workshop. The glow is pretty much uh, just as you see it on screen. It is nice and a, it's a bright glow. And if you hold these really close to a light, uh, and even in regular um, lit conditions, you can see the glow after you charge it really close to a light. But you haven't seen anything yet. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the black light now and you can see how these glow under the black light. Okay, so I have my black light here laying across the table and as you can see, it really lights these guys up really bright. And um, it also seems to light up my yellow filament, which I suspected was fluorescent, but it's supposed to just be yellow. So. There you go, it's pretty bright once you get this black light on them. And um, they keep that charge, even after you turn off the black light, it kind of supercharges them. And so the black light's off, and these things are shining like they are uh, their own light source, so to speak. So once again, this is the iSandmate Glow in the Dark PLA Plus Filament. And my verdict is it comes highly recommended. If you're looking for something uh, that works well as a glow-in-the-dark filament, this definitely does that. And it prints really well. I haven't had any failures. All the prints have come out highly detailed. And they just look really well. It sticks to your bed. There's no curling, no shrinkage. Everything works out as expected. So I'm pretty satisfied with this. So I feel like before I sign off, these guys need maybe a couple of finishing touches. So let me do that really quick and then I will be back to sign off on this video.
Thanks everybody for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and click the like button, subscribe, and do all that fun stuff. Be sure to leave a comment too. Tell me, you guys, tell me what you guys think about uh, old Oogie Boogie here. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. I will see you next time.